Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video on my backpack. Today I'm going to pack my Exo Mountain Gear K3 6400 for about 10 to 12 days. Maybe you could stretch a little bit further, uh, it just depends on the amount of food. But I'm thinking about 10 to 12 days. Um, this is all of my crap, okay? Um, I've got everything from the clothes that I wear to my sleep system to my, um, my shelter, water filtration, charging setup for my phone, my cooking setup, um, everything that I can carry water. I mean, the whole nine yards, everything that I possibly might need to live in the back country comfortably for 10 to 12 days. Okay. So this is how I set it up. Um, and you guys can play with it. Now is the time to be doing this. You might as well start pissing the wife off now, get your pack out and start packing it up every couple of days and have it somewhere that you can see it. That way you can either be packing with it or learning how to pack it efficiently, okay? Um, first thing, I wanna, with the Exo Mountain Gear, they do a great job the way they set their packs together. Um, this is uh, the water bladder sleeve, okay? So in that sleeve, a lot of times I will take my kill kit, which this is all of my game bags, a couple of trash bags, um, everything that I need to take care of that bull whenever I kill him. This is something that I'm only gonna touch one time whenever I'm out there after I kill it. So I'm gonna put that in the bottom of the water batter, bladder sleeve so that it's down here and it's kind of uh, out of the way, okay? Next thing is the water bladder that I'm gonna be using. I use two of the three liter platypus bags. Um, one of them stays in my pack at all times. And then one of them usually stays back at camp filled up uh, for cooking or whatever. You know, that way I just have some extra water. All right. That's the only thing that I put in that pocket there. Okay, let's move up to the lid. In the lid, I always keep my wallet and my phone um, and like my license, not my phone. I usually have my phone in my pocket, but my license, you know, my truck keys, all that stuff, because I don't ever, I'll only get in this pocket one time and that's whenever I kill a bull or whenever I'm back at the truck. Next in uh, my big pouch of the uh, lid, it, this is stuff that I use on the daily basis, okay? So, a couple of lighters just in case, um, a multi-tool, my uh, knife. I use my knife a lot around camp. This is the same knife that I will use to break my bull down. A black diamond headlight, a pack of dude wipes, toothbrush. I usually have de deodorant in here as well. A little bit of bug repellent there at the early part of the season and then a random little flashlight. That sets everything up for the lid. Now, let's get into um, my side pocket, okay? I wanna pack it first. Um, on one side pocket, I have, this is a full, this is a full medical kit. Like I've got a fire starter, I've got tape, I've got bandages, blood clot, um, I've got a glow stick, 
hand warmer, just anything that, uh, you know, some band-aids, I've got some Vaseline in there, fire starter, everything like that. This is emergency use, so this is gonna go at the very bottom. Um, I might get into this maybe once or twice on my whole trip. Uh, same thing, I always keep a set of Allens for my bow and then a knife sharpener with a little bit of duct tape on it. That all goes in this same pocket. And then whatever drink mix um, or, you know, uh, sometimes I'll put my Nalgene in here. Uh, this is just another one liter platypus. It'll also go in that pocket along with my water filter, which I get out every single day. Um, so that's going to be right here on top with that uh, little drink pouch. Okay, that pretty much seals up um, that side pocket. Next thing is all of the clothes that I'm going to be wearing, um, like my extra clothes and stuff like that, which is just socks and underwear. That's going to go at the very bottom end of my pack. Um, I actually will... Uh, I'll just leave those down there throughout the duration. Whenever I need something, I can pull them, pull it out and, uh, and be able to get it pretty, pretty easy. Um, the other side pocket, I'll go ahead and fill it. This is uh, new for me. This is a Jetboil, um, what did they call it? Jetboil Flash. Uh, this is, I think, one of their newer ones. Canister of fuel plus a long reach spoon. Um, that's going to go in this bag because it's going to be something that I'm going to use um, and carry with me daily as we cook lunch out on the mountain and stuff like that. Um, extra water bag. I actually should have put this in that other pocket. Also in, uh, there's another stretch pocket here. I like to put my gaiters and my rain gear um, in this pocket, just so it's easy. It, you never know whenever a storm is just gonna pop up. Um, so I like to have my rain gear handy along with my gaiters. I usually wear them like every morning. And this is just kind of the way I set it up for whenever I'm packing in, y'all. This ne isn't necessarily the way I'm going to have it um, day to day. But as, my, as I pack everything in, a lot of this stuff is going to be staying at camp. I'm not going to be carrying it with me. Um, but for the long pack in, this is how we do it. Okay. 10 to 12 days worth of food and snacks. It goes in the main bag all the way down. I like to get it as close to the bottom as possible. Put it kind of right there in the middle. Next thing. is actually going to be my sleeping bag. I take my sleeping bag in loose. And that's because um, I like to fit it around all the other stuff that is in my pack. Um, and it helps kind of fill the voids of all these bigger items that are just kind of, you know, real bulky and... Um, this helps everything just form to the shape of the bag. Stuff it in all around all that food. Okay. Next thing. I'm gonna be using an under quilt this year. This is an Outdoor Vitals zero degree under quilt. I'm not gonna be taking a sleeping pad. Uh, normally I use a sleeping pad whenever I'm in my hammock, but I think this, Kyle ran one last year and he loved it and said it was way more comfortable and he was actually hot in this thing. So this is gonna be uh, new for me, but I'm gonna put it right up here up top because that's gonna go on after the hammock is put up. Next thing is the hammock. 
I've already got the tree straps and everything connected to it. I also keep it loose, kind of pack it in here around everything else. And it's easy to get out of the bag, um, like in a rainstorm or something. This is my tarp. Uh, this is a free soldier. I think it's a 10 by 12 uh, foot tarp. I just kind of laid it out with the one I used last year. A uh, buddy of mine, Luke, uh, he gave me this tarp and I'm going to be trying it out. It's uh, He had one last year and I really liked it and he actually gave me it. So uh, it's always good when it's free 99. <laughs> I'm going to put that in this side pouch right here. A lot of times if me and Kyle are going around and it starts raining all of a sudden, we don't want to put on our rain gear. It's just a quick shower. We can break the tarp out and both get underneath it. Um, always have your tarp ready immediately so that if you have to stop and break, like make camp immediately, then you have your tarp. The first thing you grab is your tarp and you start putting it up. And then once you have it up, you can set everything else up. Next, little solar bank. Um, I usually just stuff that in a pocket somewhere. Same thing with the uh, with my solar charger. Um, I'll, I'll usually clip it onto the outside because I'm charging my phone anytime we stop. So that's gonna ride on the outside of the pack. A butt pad for glass in or just hanging out. Um, I like having that. That's actually a used, uh, that's gonna go right here also because we like to stop and take breaks. I should have put it in first. But... Okay, I think that's... Oh, another couple of items here, clothing-wise. Um, this is just like a lighter weight hoodie. Um, it's basically like a half-zip hoodie. Um, I don't ever hardly wear this. I did this year whenever it snowed though, um, just because I like to bring it just because, you know, you never know if you get wet or something like that, you want to have some dry clothes to get into. Um, and then I take a extra cold weather hoodie from Sitka. Um, this always goes on the outside of the pack. side I like to keep my trucking poles stuffed into one of these stretch pockets here on back here on the back and then I'll clip this thing on tripod just because I gotta film everything it goes here on the side That's it. My bugle tubes will usually ride along with me. I'll probably end up stuffing these in here on the side um, until I get to camp and get everything where, uh, you know, get everything to camp and get everything unloaded. Quick little video. I want you guys to uh, see what it looks like. Here it is 
a, uh, a full 12 days, um, 10 to, I say 12 days for sure. You can probably stretch this out, you know, depending on how much food that you take. I say it's probably right at like 50, 55 pounds, 50 pounds before water. Feels good. Let's go elk hunting.